Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We are playing Plan Z Chapter Uno. I gotta find something to keep her down. <laughs> because even though she passed out. Exactly, like Jesus. And she's going to have back problems. So, right. So from the last episode, we got to find something to secure because we found out she has a, a bite or a wound on her arm and she's starting to not feel good. We know how this story's going to end, but apparently good old Gare here doesn't, so. Yeah, slidey floor McGee here has basically, <laughs> it takes him about a millennia to get across his house. So I can, Do you, I don't need to go here. We, I started doing that voice uh, for anyone that didn't watch the other ones and somehow started on part three of this, but because he basically is just obviously an android being controlled by aliens or something because there's, he just has no concept of humanity in any way. <laughs> but uh, tell me if I missed anything, Anthony. Uh, we tried to leave for work. We found out our neighbor was infected. Our neighbor's wife was infected. We went to go help our neighbor who looked weirdly like John Madden. He turned into a zombie. We killed him with a toilet tank lid we came back over here you had a weird domestic dispute with your wife you found costco size uh a costco size massage table size box of aspirin and uh now your wife passed out and has a bite does that bring us up to speed yes pretty much like there's not much to it and now we got to tie her up like a boss i may need my jacket later oh look duct tape oh perfect i'll need this duct tape to keep her in the chair. I really thought that was going, like, to keep her in line. It's like, Gary, no. <laughs> exactly. Hmm, that's where I left her disciplinarian duct tape. <laughs> like, damn, Gary. This is the only thing that works for me. <laughs> exactly. Communication is not my strong point. We're trying to make a baby, and well, details aside, <laughs> this is how it works for me. I had to make sure she's safe. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, oh, me? You're Gary now. Like, I'll that's use, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I have to make sure she's safe. I'll have to use the duct tape. Oh, sorry. I have to click on the duct tape and then click on her to craft oh. duct tape. That should do it. She should be okay for now. Really? I'm pretty sure that's not true. Oh shit, he made, dude, he made her a duct tape poncho. Look at that thing. <laughs> oh, God. I was looking at the tech. <laughs> Now, oh, your now, now that your chrysalis is formed, you will be soon ready for the transformation, your final form. <laughs> that is like plot like twist. Like moving companies don't have that much duct tape. <laughs> what? Ugh. There is no way Sarah is still bleeding. There is not a piece of flesh visible besides that one hand now. Oh, good mm -hmm. God. Oh, come on. These are too small. I need one the size of a sleeping bag. I'll have to find something bigger. Great. They won't stop the bleeding. Oh my god. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. So maybe there's a, a a blanket we can use over in the living room. <laughs> I can't fucking get over all that duct tape. I just. You can see her in the background still. This <laughs> one <with the> duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> totally, it's just like, she's like, <laughs> Gary, you didn't need to make her bulletproof, pal. Like, you just need to secure her to the chair. She's not a fucking, it's not like she's a, a WWE wrestler. She's like, oh no. Yeah, you're not tying up Batman here. Like, just tie her wrists. Kitchen shears, this should come in handy. Uh, all right, my theory is, <laughs> <laughs> let me store this in my inventory. I can combine things in my inventory. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm thinking we're gonna probably use those shears with some curtain action to make some motherfucking bandages. Can I just say that I'm not a big fan of their decorating here? And I'm not even talking about the shitty generic pictures. I just mean like, who does like cream yellow walls with these burgundy couches and these like- I agree. Like, I can see yellow for like a bathroom where you want it bright and cause there's whatever, but like, and then these, oh God, look at the, Look at the curtain. In the corporate carpet, just man. Dude, they, they, the office Berber, the office <laughs> Berber is where it's at, dude. That's how you know, it. that's how, that's it work, that's the process working. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely a company man with this kind of a, actually maybe this is like corporate housing. Lamp. Right? Uh, sure, we could say a that. A lamp, this could come in handy. This won't be of any use. I don't need to turn lights on, ha ha, ha ha. Ooh, sweater, that's what we're gonna use. Was that sweater here last time? I don't it was. I thought it was a jacket, though. Me too. This could come in handy. I'm going to need to cut this up to be useful. Well, okay. Let me help you, Gare. I think he laid it. <laughs> Tip. <laughs> you can cut it. <laughs> Is this a game for children? Like, all right. Just try dragging an inventory item on top of another and see if they combine. 
Well, since you only have the two, guess Bam! that's uh, sick. Did you see that magic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, as you say, that's the process working. <laughs> Your move, Bethesda. <laughs> All right, let's go save Sarah's life. <laughs> All right. Uh, don't look at Susan, who's been dead and decaying for a long time now. <laughs> don't look at Susan. I'm going to need... <laughs> don't look at Susan. Yeah, man, fucking do it! Uh, you know you need to click the thing. You oh, need to combine shit, Sarah right. with the bandages, the strips of cloth. I'm like, clicky, clicky, clicky. Oh my god, if she turns legit into a mummy, that's just the end. I'm done with this <laughs> show forever. No, you're not. That's <laughs> All right, let's tie these strips of cloth around Sarah's hand to stop the bleeding. That's it. No, Josh, if she becomes a, zo a, a zombie because of this, or a... Um, oh... Sarah? Are you, can you hear that? Did I do it wrong again? She's like... <sighs> No! Oh wait, that's you. No, this can't be happening. Snap out of it, hun. Capital H, by the way, Attila. Well, you know, that's uh, that's uh, that's the, the, the. No, please don't do this to me. I need you. It, we we know this. We definitely know that you need this. Oh man! I can still fix this. I promise you'll be fine. I've promised you that from the day I married you. Oh man, this guy. That if ever you turned into a zombie, I'd fix this. This guy fucking needs a hot injection of some fucking confidence. Can we just talk about this? Hold on, don't skip it yet. Let me try. Oh. Damn it! He said I didn't skip. It. Amb ambulance. Oh, it did. <laughs> yeah, there's still a chance. I gotta try to call 911. All right. All right. Going back to past episodes, I want to point something out. He's tried twice now to call 911, and both times he got a busy signal. Yep. And what you makes him think right. this is gonna do it for him. You know what happens when I get a busy on 911? I fucking flee to the hills. Dealing 911. It's ringing. Ring. 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 Zombie Sarah's like, you idiot. Yeah, exactly. Stop saying ring. <laughs> Uh, immersion broken again. Immersion broken, but we're still cataloging. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, is that it? Did we reach the end of chapter one? Oh, sh oh shit. What? Leo, is this supposed to be fucking... This is like Resident Evil 2 looking, basically. What are those things? That's how Leo... This is straight up Resident Evil 2. Oh, shit. Are we playing a... Like, because the main character's name in that is Leon. Where the heck is it? Oh, maybe it's an homage. I expect the police station to be at full force at least. Oh, shit. Come on, Leon. Get it together. Oh, this isn't... Wow. I mean, let's be honest. Holy shit. Front... Well, they needed to switch protagonist because we know how this is going to end for Gary, which is he's going to stare into space for all eternity going, ring, ring, and that's going to be it. Josh, Josh... I, I need to point something out here. Yo. We... Oh, man. I put on my makeup. <laughs> Leo's like, oh shit, did I leave that out? God, the guys will crucify me if they find this. <laughs> it's 1930. A tea report? Typewriter. This is how I save my game. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to work. I'm just going to go back to work. I'm just going to act like nothing is happening. I'm going to type up my tea report, put on my lipstick, play some Benatar, and just, <laughs> everything's fine. Everything is fine. So, I can't emphasize this enough. Like, it's been a while since I played Resident Evil 2, but I think this is straight up the police, like, the main location in that game. Well, I, I think it is. Um, I, I played it- Like, door for door. I, I know you love that game way more than I do, so, dude, yeah, uh, you got to find a clip, see if it's the same. I didn't, I didn't love that game. You. It was a time when you play anything that gets across you. You know what I mean? <laughs> this computer needs a password to log in. <laughs> I'll look around if any other computers are already log in. Wait, what? Are I don't <laughs> are already log in. Log in. Oh. Oh. Oh, so this isn't his police station. Okay. Ooh, Windows XP. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like uh I'll have to go to the locker room. I don't what did I just- You gotta go- the only door that's unlocked is the locker room, naturally. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Who's ready to get wet, Leo? <laughs> Whose plan Z is my plan Z? Naked time. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know what, we're uh, all gonna die anyway, so what do you say we go out? Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, my memory of uh, Resident Evil, though, was that Leon did not walk around as dejected and bored as possible. Well, guess I should go up to the... Locker room. That's a door. Get naked with the boys. Dude, no, man, look, that's a cool strut. Check him out. Actually, yeah, when you put it in that 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 limelight, uh, he's got a swagger. I'm gonna look at this door. Dude, do you see his shadow? Oh my god. It's like <laughs> it's like fucking it was it, it looked like a like a shrubbery following him around. It looks like oh shit. Uh oh. Damn it. Obviously the chief. Oh my god, is that... He's moving. Is that Raziel from Soul Reaver? 
<laughs> for fucking legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Yeah. There are people. What's your what, what? That guy looks like a ghoul. He looks like a bat. Yeah, I'm like, are you a dark elf from EverQuest? Because I don't think you're supposed to be in this game. <laughs> what a hell of a welcome. Oh man, what happened to the state? Oh, what happened to the station? There you go. There must be some kind of virus outbreak, and I've been sent. Thank you, and sending my men all over the city, but they haven't been coming back. <laughs> you look like you're in bad shape, Chief. Can I help you, dog? I'm turning into a bat, so probably one of them zombies <laughs> got me real bad. Once you're bit, you're a goner. Oh, shit. I watch movies unlike apparently Gary. Yeah, exactly. I see my men turn. Sometimes it's an hour or a minute. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, uh huh. Oh, that's me. Shit. Can you find any survivor shit? Not out the front door. It's swarming with those things. Oh, shit. Take my card key. You can use it to unlock. <laughs> you can use it to unlock the locker room. I think some of my men are still in there. <laughs> e oh. oh, shit. Sorry. The armory shit. Blah, blah, blah. Are you sure you can't come with me? Uh, fuck yeah, bye. You only look mostly injured. <laughs> yes, just get out of here. Good luck, Johnson. Good luck, Johnson. Leo Johnson. Thanks. Hmm. You ah. couldn't just set it? Jesus Christ. Um, that card. picture on the card key is not that guy. I was gonna say, uh, that looks like General <laughs> MacArthur. Uh, I don't believe it's our dark elf police it's chief. It's not Chief Nosferatu over here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if you could come by any O negative blood, that would be ghoulishly fantastic. <laughs> How do we get out of here? I don't know. Oh, oh, just the door. So, okay, so now you got the card key, and now you have to go... Uh, I, I guess I should have really read what he was saying, but I think you can use the card key to unlock the armory. That's what I believe unlock he the, said. The, yep, the computer is where you can do your unlocking business because you have the key card. Right, so we have to find uh, the computer that is already oop. logged in. Yep, already logged in. As, as, yeah, as Leo says. Oh, it, here we go. Computer. Computer. Need to use the, oh yeah, right. Just then fucking do <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, don't sass me. Uh-oh. Mm. Armory door. Oh, thank God that it at least like pulled out to show you which door it was. Do, 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 do. Oh my do, God, do, this is gonna be do, sick, dude. If we this don't, this game's taking a serious turn, I believe. Yeah, and uh, what? But, mm, but, mm. But go to the. <laughs> there you go. All right. Is it gonna do the Resident Evil thing? Maybe. No. No, it did not. Oh. Hi, everybody. Where's the bazookas? Rookies here. Exactly. <laughs> Grab the soap and some towels. Uh -huh. Wait, what were they trying to do with the lockers? No one's even here. No smoking. God, this is. He's like, please have a seat. Someone will be with you shortly. In, in the this? locker room? Oh, wait, no, this is the armory. But why? Okay. Yeah, door. Great. Oh. Gee. This is such an odd switch, isn't it? Like, we went from the dumbest man alive to the second dumbest man alive, uh, but a policeman. Right. Okay. So, zombies are obviously outside that door. <laughs> We're in the armory, but this looks like the locker room. But there's no gun. Uh, he says well, he needs. Can you? Uh, is there a single locker? You? Nope. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well. Oh. 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 Locker. Sorry. This is like a fun uh, seek and find too. Damn. Lo uh. <laughs> Locked as usual, like everything in my life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Maybe let the key around here. Oh, well, there you go. Now this is active. Well, thank God that lit up after, uh, nothing in here. Oh, except for this key. Oh, please let there be a zombie in one of these. Please, Nothing in here. Uh, Wait. Seriously? Uh, what a... Uh, oh. <laughs> this is a weird way of walking you through something. This is... <laughs> <laughs> what? This is not a key. This is a magazine. It's not in here either. That is a plant. That is still not a key. <laughs> that is a no smoking sign. Do you think maybe if you have a seat, someone will just bring you the key? No. Can you imagine if it was really that obscure? I guess that would that would not be that different from like adventure games of the era. I guess. I say that as if this game was made in the 90s or something when it was made like today or a week ago. Oh, wait a second. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Anthony, you did it. <laughs> this handgun looks severely damaged. Okay, fine. Oh, uh, what? Uh, does it have a key inside of it? Dude, all you gotta do is put the thing on the thing again. Like, it's taken apart. It's not broken. Yeah, like... Okay, so we searched everything in the room. Did we? There's nothing here. Did we? Well, it's true that you did not search literally every book. 
but uh, but it won't let me activate. If you go to the, if you transition to the other side where the door was, would it suddenly present you with new options? <laughs> no, nope, it was worth a try. Maybe he'll let you. No, God. Oh wait, look at this that. Game really. Oh, oh, oh. Potted plant. Why would they leave a key in this room? At least pot. I... <laughs> uh, I don't know either, Leo. But let's roll. We need a gun. Let's get that gun, and then what do you think? We'll come back next time. I think it's a smart move because then we can come back, and then it's killing time. That's right. Yeah, right in this game. Bam. Oh, bam. So... Give me the goods. This better be awesome. <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> Finally unlocked. Hold on the big gun, big gun, big gun, big gun. Uh, okay, open it. This is just teledildonics again. One hand, exactly. It's another God, teled. All you do is complain. Jeez. Oh, fuck me. All right, well, hey, handgun, better than nothing. I'll take it. Ready to go. Let's leave this episode as anticlimactic as finding that gun was. <laughs>